you know, we want a startup that you could say, you know, let's throw away 10 years of code and rewrite everything from scratch. For us, interoperability uh, was a must. Uh, and so we said, well, why not? Why don't we try and, and write our own language and, and see how it comes out? I think the first prototypes were called Jet Language. So original. Uh, even after a few uh, over two years, I think we still had uh, namespaces, package names with the Jet prefix in there. Uh, but that eventually got renamed to Kotlin. So yeah, that, that's basically the idea behind it. You know, we needed something for ourselves, which is very much in line with Jet Brains of dog fooding uh, the tools that we 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 make out of need you know we we uh, that's that's really useful to know the the history behind the language the the effort to make it more concise and more fluent and that's one of the things that intrigued me about kotlin is uh, developers rarely tell me they like Kotlin. They always tell me they love Kotlin, and and that that really is exciting to see developers expressing such such ideas about a language, and 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 you're able to see languages like you know I I spent years programming in uh, you know different languages. I, I I have this fascination for programming languages, and and there was a time when. I programmed in one language and I thought I knew everything. Everything there is to know. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, the whole functional and object-oriented paradigm is also, I always say that when I'm uh, you know, giving a talk on Kotlin, I, I ask the audience, I say, are you object-oriented programmers by and large? And if they say yes, I say, well, Kotlin is an object-oriented programming language. It's with functional programming features. And if it's a functional audience, I say, well, Kotlin is a functional programming language with some object-oriented programming features. Um, but, but what would you say is kind of like the biggest thing that you learned from the book, from writing the book? Like, what's the biggest takeaway? Other than, okay, this was a really long book. <laughs> it, 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 is, it is really taking the time to learn about ideas to a greater depth than what I think or thought I knew. Uh, I, I came into, you know, this is, you know, there's a certain amount of learning that happens uh, for no matter which book you write, like we talked about earlier. Uh, but with Kotlin, the language is evolving as well. And as I came in, it's not just writing about the language itself. It's writing about the different paradigms. It's writing about uh, coroutines is such a beautiful concept. And uh, coming in, I would say probably I knew, if I were to put a number, I would say, okay, if I want to really praise myself, I would say maybe I knew 70% of the things in there. Uh, but, but knowing the depth of the things and, and beginning to realize, seeing things in a different light than I see, uh, saw them before, was the most rewarding experience for me uh, is, is, you know, I say my, my job uh, often I describe as my job is that kid in the candy store. That's what I love about what we do, right? Uh, you are never old when you are in this field. Uh, I, I, I am waking up with excitement today as I did 30, 40 years ago. And, and the reason is, it's such a wonderful experience to come in knowing certain things and ending the day knowing a lot more than you did. Yes, and totally. this book was definitely that for me. I came in knowing certain things, but thanks to the reviewers of the book, thanks to experimenting deeper with some of the ideas, I came up with a much better learning of Kotlin than I started with. Yeah. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now for ad-free videos released almost daily and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.